Right, uh, quite a few people keep asking about the inner tent in the bongo here and uh, the other bits and pieces we've done to the uh, AFT. So, uh, a quick little video. Um, let's, uh, first of all, engine running, handbrake on, um, red light on the dash to indicate the brakes are pulling. And that's all you need before you can lift the roof. That's starting to go up. You can see. And that's how long it takes to go up with good gas struts. And it's locked. Right. Oh. We've got quite a few bit of storage up here. Um, these are three inch um, mattress sections and a pillow. And they, they all fit in up here, no troubles. That's the pillow out of the way. That's one section, the big lower section. Also the um, hatch. We've taken off the hinges. So it now slides, so it just slides underneath the bottom. You don't have to be mucking about up and down, left, right, to get it into position. When you're up here, you just slide it across and it drops into position. If you're down below, you can do the same from underneath. Um, what have we got up here? Two layers, the square that fits over the hatch, or the mattress, plus the uh, front window screen inside silver. Um, if you position them right at the back, in between the struts, the uh, guides for the uh, shutter, then it'll shut down. Well, it shuts down for us quite happily. You can't, I can't go any further than these two layers, the um, front screen and the pillow we've got there. That is about the limit. Right, the inner tent. Fleece, cream fleece, so it's nice and bright and light in here. Um, it attaches to the, I'll show in detail in a bit, the upper aluminium and likewise the lower aluminium with velcro tabs. So there's little clips down here. Uh, all the way round on the bottom. Um, in the front, apart from the basic one where we, in the original template, We've since added pockets with some Velcro tabs, um, useful little light and things like that. We've also added two vertical zips in the corners so that you can, when you're up here, it's easier than when you're down below. This is honky up. Oh, and the other thing is the eyebrow zip. We've got a little pull cord on it so you can do it from ground below. So I'm doing the zip there. I'm doing the zip there. He says, reaching. Limit off his reach. <coughs> Not normally a problem when I'm like up here sleeping. There we are. And then you just pull down the top. And then, excuse me one second, take it over the back, like that. If the toggle hasn't broken, you can hang it back up there. Uh, right, that way you can uh, open the eyebrow zip from down below to in the cord. So that gives you just ventilation up in the top and if you want to you can unzip the uh, main section without having to uh, do everything else. So that's the, uh, the concept on that. Just putting it all back together again. Uh, 
um, fixings at the top are done with A4 uh, binders, report binders, the little triangular sections with some Velcro glued onto them. Um, here's one, I can probably get off easily. So they're just glued all the way around and then hang down. And uh, then they just slot onto the aluminium frame at the top. There we go. Um, several of those around the corners. Velcro on the inner. And then just they just hang up there. As simple as pie. There we go. Uh, the eyebrow zip. Uh, we operate with a little set of couple of little runners I've screwed onto the aluminium frame, and then you can just pass them through an eyelet in the inner tent. And if you take the inner tent out, obviously you just pull the cord through. Um, and then that does and undoes the zip. So even when you've got the tent up, the full uh, full amount up it will uh, handle that. The struts that are mentioned, they uh, lower the tent inside and that weight brings the material inside, stops it ballooning out when the air is uh, um, being pushed out through the escape holes. Right, um, yeah that's about it. The full plans and templates are on the Bongo Fury site, fact sheet. Um, it's got a big, well I say a big, it's a PDF with uh, A4 printed sheets of the entire full scale um, template. So if you don't want to work from the uh, dimensions on the plans, you can actually print out about, uh, well, rather a lot of pages. <laughs> Stick them together and you can have your template to, uh, to work with. So there we go. Um, that's how we survive up here. Um, just hang that back up. And we'll lower it away again. Right. Drops down. Hit the cancel button. And down she comes. I tend to bring the front in just to make it pack neater and make sure the pillows are right, which is why we have the, the little stop and then down, down we come. The last bit of the way. Junk. There we are. And that's the uh, the GHE AFT and the inside of our vehicle solar power unit HU hooks also underneath rock and roll bed and uh, oh yes the uh, inner curtain if you want some privacy or uh, use the loo or whatever then you've got the inner one also handy if you're leaving the vehicle and in a little bit of a wild area you can bring the curtain across and nobody can see in with the tinted windows what's going on uh, inside Fiamma F45 awning with lights. Uh, oh yeah, rear. He's got the right. Continue. Lower the uh, bit down in the back, and then uh, just got the uh, cargo net across the back to hold it all in place. So everything's dropping out on this. 
Oh, one other thing. Um, when we've got the fuel in board, unclip the uh, the sonar sensors, and I've extended them out. They just plug in and out on there, and when they're on there, I just tuck back in so that the sensors are sensing the back of the frame itself rather than the back of the car. Right, that'll do. 